I love my golden retriever, and I recently had a friend ask, are golden retrievers good first dogs? Considering it wasn't the breed I started with, I couldn't answer for sure, but was going off my own experience of owning them. So instead, I decided to do a bit of research to see how retrievers rated as a first time pet. So, are golden retrievers good first dogs? Stay tuned. This is Dog Breeds FAQ Channel. There are plenty of factors you need to consider when choosing a dog, but as a general rule, the answer is yes. They're friendly, easily trained, and good with children. I've always found golden retrievers to be very laid back, and this is a great starting point for a new dog owner. According to the American Kennel Club, Goldens are outgoing, trustworthy, and eager to please family dogs, and relatively easy to train. As I said though, there are plenty of things you need to consider when choosing whether a particular breed is right for your home life. Things such as exercise, how long they can be left alone, and the dog's health are all things you should think about, and this video is designed to give you a bit more background information on Golden Retrievers as a breed. I always feel it's better to know too much than too little, so hopefully this video will help you make a more informed decision. The best first dog to have If I could go back and choose to have a Golden Retriever as my first dog, I definitely would. From the experience of owning them, I feel there are few breeds better suited to introducing you to the world of dog ownership. The pros of the breed massively outweigh the cons, and they're so easygoing that they make it incredibly easy to learn how to care for an animal. You should always research whether a particular breed will fit into your home life though, and this is no different for Golden Retrievers. One of the most important things to consider is that they're quite an active breed. This is because they were bred as working dogs and so have a lot of energy. I take my Golden Retriever on at least one long walk a day, if not two. Granted, much of that is because I love being outdoors, but consider that you will need to walk it every day. And unlike smaller breeds, you won't be able to get away with too many short walks around the block. Golden Retrievers are very easily trained and respond well to obedience training of any level. I would recommend taking them for at least basic training, so they respond to the sound of your voice, but you shouldn't have any problems teaching them more advanced commands. Considering you probably don't have much experience training a dog, this is another reason why they're one of the best dogs for first-time owners. Health Issues Another important thing to consider is that Golden Retrievers are prone to some health conditions. This is something you'll find with any breed, but one of the easiest ways to avoid it is to research your breeder. Ethical breeders won't use dogs with known health conditions, so make sure you're asking. Should I get a Golden Retriever if I have kids? They're very patient and friendly dogs, and almost never get angry, although this is just from my experience. This makes them good to have around children, but the children need to make sure they're respectful of the dog too. As a general rule, Golden Retrievers are laid back enough that they make a good first dog for having around children. Golden Retriever Puppy or Adult Golden Retrievers are popular dogs, so there's unlikely to be a shortage of breeders in your area. That said, their popularity has also given rise to a number of backyard breeders who are more interested in making money than breeding nice dogs. All I can say is do plenty of research first and look at online reviews or customer comments. If in doubt, use your common sense and err on the side of caution. In my experience though, I've always thought adult dogs to be the better choice for first-time owners. There's significantly less hassle involved with an adult dog, and it gives you a chance to rehome or rescue a dog. Some dogs might have been given up due to bad circumstances in the home, so never assume there's something wrong with the dog. I haven't bought a puppy in many years, and some of the best dogs I've ever owned have been rescues. How much exercise does a Golden Retriever need? The short answer to this question is they'll take as much exercise as you're willing to give them. As a golden rule, I take my Golden Retriever out for a minimum of 30 minutes a day, but usually aim for at least an hour. If you're watching this and don't like the idea of that much exercise, you might want to consider looking for a different breed. Conclusion I've always found Golden Retrievers to be an excellent breed to own, and 
are particularly good with families. They're definitely one of the best first dogs to have, mainly because they're so laid back and easy to train. They're the perfect breed for learning how to look after a pet, which is why they're so popular. However, as I've mentioned several times, this doesn't mean they'll be perfect for everyone. Make sure you do research first to see if the breed fits in with your lifestyle. After all, what good is having a dog if you never get to spend any time with it? Your turn. Is the Golden your first dog? Or you're a first-time dog owner thinking of getting a Golden Retriever? Leave a comment below. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new to this channel. Thanks for watching.